Hello YouTube. Uh, today's video is about uh, 2017. Um, I think it's 2018. 2018 Mercedes E Class is a W213 chassis, and the problem with this car is, as you can see, the airbag. This car was involved in an accident, so uh, basically, near enough, every single airbag was deployed. So uh, the car came to me as a non-runner. The customer was uh, complaining that the car doesn't start after the crash. Uh, so uh, the problem with these Mercedes are uh, after the the new Mercedes after the crash, you get something. Um, basically, the issue stops the car from starting uh, if the uh, airbag deploys. Uh, so basically, it goes into the safety mode, so stops the car from stops the starter from starting the engine. Uh, and uh, the way to fix this is uh, you have to fix this through diagnostics um, I don't know if every diagnostic machine does that but I know Autel does it and uh, that's why we're using Autel on this car if you can see uh, I'm already inside because unfortunately Autel is a slightly slow on Mercedes so uh, I'm gonna start from the beginning again to go in I haven't done this car as you can see the car doesn't start it doesn't start at all so what what i done was i came to i plugged the machine in and then i went to mercedes and then automatically <coughs> identify the car so we go into the engine as soon as you press as soon as you find the engine engine issue and then you try to go in um on auto i don't know about every other machines but on auto it goes usually when you go diagnose when you try to diagnose a normal car that hasn't been in an accident you go into the engine and then it gives you the options to like special function a read fault code clear fault code a teaching process and stuff but auto on these mercedes as soon if if the car doesn't start if it's already into a safety mode as soon as you put the uh, diagnostic on and <clears throat> you try to go inside the ecu the, uh, it comes up with um, all the information. It says this car has been in an accident and uh, it's in a crash safety mode. So if you want to clear it or not. So if this comes up, it's loading at the moment. I'm going to show you so you understand clearly. Unfortunately, Autel is very slow on Mercedes. I don't know why. So, okay. So we try to go into the engine ECU and then it says, warning, a crash event has appeared. Uh, the engine is, start is blocked because of crash event. The starter does not run. And then do you want to, if you see, it says, do you want to unlock the control module? The procedure is started by pressing the button. The function is also available under the control unit adaptation menu. Okay, so usually if you're using hotel, if you try to go into the engine ECU, it, this, this page is going to come up if, this car, if, the pro, if your problem is exactly as this. So if this doesn't work, so we're going to, it says, do you want to unlock the control module? We press yes. Okay, it says, disable of the engine start by crash event, active, start the power, disable, the process can be, start by pressing the button. Okay, we press F1. It says the procedure failed. Okay, this happened to me before. It said the procedure failed, but we're gonna try. Okay, it said the procedure failed. Turn the ignition off and then back on, repeat the procedure. Turn the ignition off. Back on, we press yes. Disabling of the start engine is start by crash event. Yes, it's active. Start the power disable. Press F1 again. The procedure failed again. Off. Okay, as you can see, 
it, it did turn over it tried to start so uh, what I was what I'm trying to say is now the car will start but because I have a small uh, jump start on the car it doesn't start let me turn the radio off so you can hear the engine turning okay if you look at the gauges and when I'm pressing the start you see it's it's trying to, I don't know if you can hear it. it it tries to turn over but because my jump start is it's a small that's why it doesn't do it so now if we go back the VCI is disconnected because the battery is not good at all on this car it's reading the fault code we go into engine ECU again <clears throat> what, I'm, what I'm gonna try to say is because I had this car before many many of these cars before and uh, I did I always use auto to uh, disable the crash event and um, most of the times I would say 9 out of 10 when I try when I press the F bomb button at the end to try to disable the crash events it says failed but the car starts it does the job it does what it's supposed to do but uh, I don't know why on the software on the diagnostic machine it says failed and then what I do is uh, the car starts the car starts fine so what I do is I come out and then I go back in again and then I I do the procedure again, and when I do once once I do that, and then it says uh, procedure completed successfully, which it it does the job, even even though it says failed. But I just want to show you. So if if you're using hotel and if you're doing that, just, I just want you to know that um, it does the job. The car starts, so don't worry when it says fail, but. Um, Just come out and press F1 again, and then it says failed again, but it's it's not true. So what, what I usually do if this happens, I go out completely. And then I go under control unit. Then I'll go to drive. I think engine was in uh, in drive, and then uh, motor electronics. <coughs> Sorry, another reason that this has failed it could be because of a weak jump start on the car. Um, I always use this. This is a, a, a small jump stop. I just snap on. I usually starts the car, but I think um, they, my colleagues in the garage, they used it, so it doesn't have enough power in it to start the car. It does turn over a couple of turns, but it doesn't. But it just dies. Auto is very slow on Mercedes unfortunately i really like hotel it's a for the money it does a lot of um it does a lot of things for the money but it's on mercedes unfortunately it's very slow okay again crash event press yes f1 and I, I've, I, this came to me, at least this happened to me a lot of times. Sometimes even what I do is I start the car and then it says procedure failed again. I start the car, I leave the car running, come to the uh, like right temperature and then t uh, turn the car off again and then put the machine on again and then I go through the procedure. At, at the end it says, it says the procedure completed successfully. So I just wanted you to know that the car is, the machine could say failed 
but that's uh, I don't know why it says it, but it does the job, and the and the uh, car starts. I'm gonna because this this uh, auto is very slow on this um, on this car. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start. I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, finish the video here. I'm gonna start the car, and then uh, run it to the temperature, and then if the battery is good, I'm gonna I'm just gonna use the battery, put uh, extra power on it like a jump start and then come back and make another video while doing the reset procedure and then that would be the second video if um, because this is going to take so long going through the auto thanks for watching guys bye for now